Welcome back here to Bill Brown Stadium where Blacksburg gets ready to square away with Christiansburg in the Battle of the Bergs. Momentarily, you will have our Waterstone Mortgage Company kickoff as we start this Battle of the Bergs. Breakdown of jerseys tonight. The Bruins are in all royal blue, uh, yellow numbers, uh, royal blue pants, royal blue jerseys, royal blue helmets. A uh, little bit of a blue night right there, Jameser. That's right, Brad. Hey, the boys look good out there. They look like they're ready to go, and hopefully we'll just you know, do a great job on this opening kickoff and put ourselves in good field position. That's what you want, absolutely. And so Christiansburg on the other sideline, they're in the navy blue pants, white jerseys with navy blue lettering, and also they have the navy blue helmet as well. Um, great night here for football. Uh, you couldn't ask for better weather on this fall night. Uh, currently here in Blacksburg, it is 65 degrees. Sun is beginning to set. Just a beautiful evening, James. You get some great sunsets from Bill Brown Stadium. It's just a pretty special place to play ball. You know, you got this wonderful field turf that the kids get to play on right here. It's a great atmosphere, and the people are starting to pile in right now. So it's going to be fun, Brad. I think it'll be great. The student population is filling in here for the Bruins. It looks like the Blue Demons across the way have plenty as well. Set to kick it away for the Blue Demons is number six, Spencer Con uh, Connor. Back deep for the Bruins. Can't see the number. Is that Addison? Looks like that could be number five, no Addison more. Bass. Back deep for the Bruins. And we are Gordon getting Grisham ready. Gordon Grisham Baden back there also, Brad. Okay, yep. Looks like Gordon Grisham Baden, that's right. Looks like we're getting ready to get things started off here. Spencer Connor surveys the scene. He is approaching the ball, and the Battle of the Bergs is underway. Ball goes all the way back to Addison Bass at the 15. He's at the 20, and he moves it up to the 24-yard line where Blacksburg will take over first and 10 in this Battle of the Bergs matchup. Yeah, that was... Josiah Ratley on the tackle right there. He just came right through the middle, Brad. Looks like, I don't, I'm not sure anybody got a hand on him. He was pretty much free coming through there. Coming through there pretty hard, that's right. Christiansburg will come out primarily in their 4-4 defense, a little bit different than they've done in the past. They, they traditionally was in a three-man three, three front, but now this year they are in a four-man front. Blacksburg opens up receiver to the left, two to the right. Boyd's in the backfield. Rich goes in motion, snaps back to Campbell. He's looking to his right. No, no one open. He's going to tuck it and run. He's crossed the 25, and he is met there and brought down at the 26. So a two-yard gain for Campbell on the carry. He looked like he wanted to come to the right side, uh, but nobody was open, so he just tucked it and, and yeah. went back to the back side. It looked side. like he was trying to go deep right there uh, to Javier. Really nothing there, Brad. And, uh, a uh, good tackle right there by Thaxton Henley in open space. Closed a lot of ground there pretty quickly. Looked like J. Ron Thompson in on the coverage there of yeah. Javier Waldron. He was on him like a glove. Blacksburg breaks the huddle. They've got two receivers to the right. Waldron as well as Poff is, I'm sorry, to the left. Looks like Campbell takes the snap. He fakes the handoff, and he's going to tuck it and run. He's across the 25, the 30. Takes it up to about the 37-yard line. It's nice, going to bring up third down. Nice tackle by um, Curtis Altizer. I mean, that kid really brings it every play, Brad. Uh, he's a, a tone setter on defense and uh, one heck of a fullback on offense. He's, he's a game changer. Yes, he is. I mean, quite a good-sized young man, 5'11", yes, 227, and he's stout. That 227 is stout. So third and two here from the 32-yard line. Blacksburg with the ball. Blacksburg breaks the huddle. We have Poff and Waldron to the right. It's like Rich goes in motion. Campbell's rolling to his right. He's at the 30, and he is going to be knocked down at about the 33 there by Tanner Evans and Thaxton Henley. Evans' helmet goes flying off, so he'll have to come out of the game. But that will be a uh, just maybe a gain of one on the play, but uh, really nowhere going. It's going to bring up fourth and one for the Bruins. Punt team comes on. 
Spencer Campbell goes back from the quarterback position, back to punt, back deep for the Blue Demons. Looks to be number three, J. Ron Thompson, and number 14, Matt Annis. And I tell you what, I watched Annis run last night in the JV game, and that young man can pick them up and put them down. Campbell's kick Spread goes out. back to the 35-yard line where Annis receives it, and he's brought Great down job. immediately there by number one, Javier Waldron of the Bruins. So the Blue Demons will take over at their own 35, first and 10 here. 9.31 to go. The score is 0-2-0. Zero zero. That's a good job by Javier uh, holding his leverage right there and making that tackle. And, and, and we kind of not flipped the field as far as we wanted to, but at least we punted the ball away, and we're they're starting from their side of the field instead of ours like hey. it's been lately. We did not fumble. Yeah. It was not a turnover. That's a positive thing for this Bruin team. Looks like the Blue Demons break the huddle. They got two receivers to the right. In at quarterback position looks to be, looks like Cam Cooper's back there. He throws out to his receiver, J. Ron Thompson. He makes a move and he picks it up all the way to about the 39 yard line. So a pickup of about four yards on that reception. Yeah, Addison Bass did a nice job out there. Just slow him up enough to, you know, wait for that help to get there. He corralled him well. Well, you know, J. Ron Thompson, I've watched him since he was a sophomore. He's got quick feet mm -hmm. and, you know, it looked like we might have him right at the line of scrimmage, made a couple moves. Yeah. He's able to pick up four yards right there. So a good job there. So. Christian Berg has got two receivers to the left. Twins motion. They are Cooper's under center. Looks like Curtis Altizer in the fullback position. Tanner Evans, he gives the ball. And Braden DeMassey brings him down immediately. No gain on the play. Evans' helmet comes flying off once again. That's the second time in about four plays. He will have to come out of the game, I believe. Yep. Braden did a great job of just trailing that pulling guard and working across that center. And, you know, we talked about Pence being the puller. That's kind of the guy that pulls a lot for him. And we just did a nice job right there, really squeezing it down. Yep. There wasn't really any running room at all. Back Good to that job pro there. eye formation right Back here. Back in the pro eye formation. Altizer in at the fullback. Uh, looks like Thaxton Henley at the tailback position. Third and six from the 39. Cooper surveys the defense. He's under center, takes the snap. Come on. Pitch goes to Henley. Henley's over the left side. It looked like he was going to be brought down, but he picks it up all the way to the 44-yard line, but not enough for a first down. He takes it up. It looks like it'll be fourth and one. Uh, the punt team might be coming on here for the Blue Demons there. Uh, back uh, to punt for the Blue Demons is number 10, Curtis Altizer. Walking back in the in the reception position is number six, Ethan Walker. He might want to hustle back there. Altizer's kick drives it all the way back to the 15. Walker's got it there to 20. Set to 24, and he is slung out of bounds there by number 28, Noah Davis of the Blue Demons. Hey, that was a great job by defense. So, you know, you get a three now, you get a punt, they punt. Now we have the ball back. We kind of, you know, get a better idea how they're going to play us defensively now. So let's see what kind of adjustments we can make and how do we how we're going to attack from here on out, Brad. Good job, both sides of the ball right there. Uh, both teams, you know, you wouldn't expect anything less in the Battle of the Bergs. You know, they're going to get after it and play hard. Blacksburg breaks the huddle. Over to the left side. Looks like, uh, looks like for the Bruins, that might be um, Alexander Rudolph over there with Javier Waldron. Handoff goes to Thomas Boyd to the left side. He runs into his own lineman, but he is able to pick up maybe two yards on the carry. It's good to see Luke in there and, and, and Xavier Price back. He's been out the past couple of weeks, Brad. Oh, that is Xavier Price. That's my fault. I, uh, I, uh, um, I thought that was Rudolph. Yep, you're right. That's Ethan Carpa over on the far side. Correct. Yeah. So Javier Waldron, Ethan Carpa is in the two receivers to the left, and the two receivers on the right looks to be Price as well as Poff. Snap goes back to Campbell. Campbell's looking to his right. He throws and somehow it is caught by number seven, Xavier Price. It went through two hands of the Blue Demons. It fell right into Xavier's hand. 
and they move the ball. That's a first down for the Bruins, James. That, hey, great job right there. That was one heck of a catch. I don't see how he caught it. It's like he had to stick him on this glove or something. That thing stuck. Great. I mean, really pretty much brought it down mostly one-handed. That was a really nice catch. It through, really through was. Through traffic, not into, but no, through, through traffic. It. That's right through it. I mean, that's like when you played Frogger back in the day. <laughs> Great concentration right there by Xavier. Ball is spotted at the 39-yard line where the Bruins have first and 10. 6-22 and counting here in the first quarter. Our score is 0-0. Zero to zero. Blacksburg breaks the huddle with three receivers to the left, single receiver to the right. Luke Poff goes in motion back to the right and... Blacksburg saw something they did not like, and Coach Leonard has called a timeout here with 6.11 to go. That'll be their first charge timeout of the half. We will step away here. You're listening to ESPN Blacksburg, 93.1, 97.1. For me, it is such an honor, frankly, to be in that position when people need help. They have nowhere else to go. They have no idea who to call. They call 911 and I'm the one who shows up. What an honor that is to be able to provide care and compassion to my neighbors, my friends, my peers from the community. And you know, it's not always life-threatening situations. It's not always uh, minor situations. No matter the level of care provided or the complexity that's needed to provide adequate health care to these neighbors, that's what we do, right? We're not in it for the money. We're not in it for the fame. We're in it to serve others. And that's what makes our agency so great. For me, it's living out my childhood dream. Um, this is something I've wanted to do since a child. And walking in and seeing a bay with six ambulances, two squad trucks, UTVs, SUVs, it is a little boy's dream come true. And the fact that I get to do that every weekend is something I wouldn't have anywhere else. Welcome back, Bill Brown Stadium. While we were gone, Blacksburg did attempt a first down play. Pass was intended over on the side. It looked like to Javier Waldron from Spencer Campbell, a little bit out of his reach. Brings up second and 10 from the 39 for the Bruins. 6.07 to go here in the first quarter. You can tell those Christiansburg's corners are really ready to come up and jump those short passes. So we might be doing setting up a hitch and go, something like that here in a little bit, Brad. Bruins got two receivers to the left. Poff goes in motion. Campbell's going to go up the middle. And, and he is met immediately at the line of scrimmage. Looked, like, looked to me like that was big Aiden Conley in there. Just got that big paw up there and just grabbed Spencer. He is the size Ooh. of a bear out there. That's oh. a, uh, so, uh, that, that's a future big time ball player. I think we're going to hear his name a lot on Saturdays down the road. I think you're right. I mean, you look there in the middle of that defense, you've got 72, Aiden Conley, 6'3, 321. And then you got 62, Jackson Poole, 6'2, 290. He's the small one, Woo, Brad. He's the small one. We call him Tiny. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow. Good Great looking group day. out there. They are some good looking athletes, that's for sure. Blacksburg in the spread offense. Campbell's in the snap. He's looking to his left. He's coming back to his right. Nowhere to go. He's, 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 he's scrambling. He's rolling back to his left now. And he gets hit back there by number 10, Curtis Altizer. It looked like Campbell had somebody open for just a second, but he could not find him. And he pays the price there. Curtis Altizer from that inside linebacker position just lays a hammer on Spencer Campbell right there. Brings up fourth and eight. When Curtis brings that 227 pounds, Brad, he brings it. Oh, he's tough. He's just yeah, a tough kid. Yeah, that tone setter type of player that you want on your ball team. Campbell's back from the punt position. He takes the snap. Punt is up, and the kick drives it all the way back to Ooh. about the 26-yard line where it goes out of bounds. Uh, looks like they might spot it up just a little bit further up. Uh, looks like they're going to spot it at the 28, and that's where Christiansburg will take over. Uh, not a bad uh, situation right there. You punt it out of bounds. You keep it out of J. Ron Thompson's hands as yep. well as Matt Annis. And, uh, um, you know, they got to get their offense back on the field here. 
Hey, so. again, we're talking about let's let's grow a little bit. Let's get that second stop right here, Brad. I, you know, like what we're doing defensively, we're kind of big up front. We, we got pretty much six guys along the line of scrimmage. And if they're going to beat us, they're going to have to just run right through us. And you know what? That's part of it. That is so true. And let's see. The Blue Demons break it. They've got twins to the right. Handoff goes to number 12, Thaxton Henley. He's over the right side. He's at the 35, and he drags Bruins all the way down to the 40-yard line. It looks like that will be a Blue Demon first down for Henley. Yeah, we were a little confused right there with our, with our outside linebacker alignment, and uh, they were kind of in really an unbalanced set right there, Brad. They had the tight end and the two receivers on the same side, so a we're kind of a little bit outflanked yep. right there. So. We'll see what happens here again. Now they're back in normal twin and, set right here. And they took it. They took advantage of it there. So yeah, normal twin set. Once again, you've got uh, Curtis Altizer in at fullback. Henley's at tailback. Handoff goes to Henley. He's across the 42. Takes it up to about the 43 yard line. In at quarterback for the Blue Demons. This time is number 11, J.T. Thompson. So uh, getting a little time there. Yeah. Good tackle right there by. Uh, Tyson Brown did a nice job coming across. He just basically followed that guard on that little power play. Yep, just sort of trailed him right there yep. with it, didn't he? Okay, the Blue Demons break the huddle. They've got twins to the left. Thompson's under center. Handoff goes to, looks like handoff goes to Tanner Evans, and he breaks through like he's just been shot out of a cannon and goes across the 45 to 40, takes it all the way down to the 38 yard line of the Bruins. I tell you what, when Tanner Evans came through that hole that time, he came through quick. You know, we talked about him in the pregame. They're gonna come right downhill at us and that's what happened. Our defense end was coming down hard down the line of scrimmage, but he kind of stopped when he got blocked. He's got to really run through that blocker Make that thing bounce outside so they're not running north-south. we got to right. get them going east and west right here, Brad. Shotgun position for Thompson. He hands off. Nope, he fakes the handoff to Thompson. He's going to squirt across the middle. He's at the 30, and that's where he, he will be brought down at about the 29. Okay. Little quarterback keep right there. Looks like an official went down on that play. Uh, we see... The athletic trainer might go forth hustling out onto the field to check on the official. It looks like he is up. Coach go forth is talking to him. Both teams from Blacksburg will walk over to the sideline for an official timeout here. We're going to keep it here, though. I didn't see what happened there, James, but it looked like he got yeah, hit pretty good. You know that back referee right there. He's in the middle of no man's land Ooh. sometimes. There's, there's not really much room for him to go when you got that whole mass of bodies coming. And he just kind of got rolled up on a little bit right there, Brad. Well, and he's a pretty good size yeah. gentleman, but I tell you what, when you got <laughs> when you got that offensive front that Christiansburg's yeah. got, he looked like tiny, you know? Yeah, exactly. And, and, and you know, right there, Brad, that was just that old power read scheme. Uh, you put a good athlete, number 11, Jeremiah Thompson, back there with that, his speed. You know, um, he just saw a little crease, and basically he's either he reading a linebacker or a defensive lineman, and he saw that that person was really coming hard, so he just pulled it and kept it himself and made yep. it right up the middle. Good hard run for sure right there. Back Looks to the like gun. J.T. Thompson back in the gun, standing beside him as the fullback. Curtis Altizer behind him is number 12, Thaxton Henley. Handoff goes to Henley off the right side. He's at the 25, and he pushes it down to about the 23-yard line where it will be Blue Demon first down. They're kind of imposing their will right now, Brad. Uh, that size is just kind of beating down on us, beating down on us right there. And, again, that that's comes with the same situation we just talked about a minute ago. We've got to get these guys running east and west, not north and south. You can't just can't just squeeze these blocks. You yep. got to come underneath them and make them bounce. You are right. Now they go back. Uh, Thompson goes under center. They're in the traditional I formation. Twins to the left. Handoff goes to Henley around the left side. He's at the 20, the 15, the 10. He's still going all the way down to the eight yard line. He is tackled there by number six, Ethan Walker. That will be another first down for the Bruin or for the Blue Demons. That'll bring up first and goal. I believe we got a hole, Brad. But yep, penalty flag down, so that one is going to come back. That's a spot foul. Looks like it was thrown at about the 11 or 12. So that'll move it back to what appears like 
It would be about the 21 yard line. That is correct. Brad, so we, it'll be first down and about uh, first eight. And ten. First and 10 again, just go out. The, yeah, you're right. The yard marker guy's yeah. not doing it right. Yeah, it should be first, first and, eight. and eight. Yeah. Uh, ball spotted at the 21, 2.07 to go here in the first quarter. Uh, both Bergs knotted up at zero. Handoff goes to Tanner Evans. Great job. Evans is met there by Braden DeMassey. Picks up a few yards on the play. Hey, Braden did a great job right there, Brad. You know, they pulled that both that guard and tackle on that counter, and he followed it. He was able to beat the center, beat beat the center, and beat the, he just basically just fell on um, yep. fell, fell on Tanner. But we got to get those linebackers scraping really, really fast, Brad, because a lot of times at the point attack, they're getting those double teams on us. They're kind of knocking us back. We need to get those linebackers scraping fast so those double teams now become Don't, single blocks. That's right. And those linemen can actually do some work. Second and three here. Twins to the right. Thompson under center. He does a toss pitch to Evans around the right side. He's at the 15 to 10. He jumps and takes it down to the seven yard line. And that will be a first down for the Blue Demons. It's going to be first and goal from the seven. Nice little uh, toss play. Maybe eight. Play. No, it is a seven. Yeah, nice little toss play. That, that right tackle right there really did a great job of reaching our end and uh, created that little run lane. It's gonna so um, I'll just tell you got what, the edge. Tanner Evans is a fun running back to watch. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's a skilled player for sure. Yes. Handoff goes to number 12, Thaxton Henley, around the right side, and he is going to take it in for a Christiansburg Blue Demon touchdown with 55 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Blue Demons up 6-0 to zero, pending the extra point attempt here by number six, Spencer Connor. Brad, you know, both their, they had some really good run plays right there, but both their big plays came on that twins formation, just basically a toss out to the two receiver side, uh, just kind of a stretch play, Brad. We got to do a little better job on that outside back position, coming harder to. Um, Snap is back, kick is up, and the kick is good by number six, Spencer Connor. 55 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Christian's blurred. Blue Demons 7, Blacksburg Bruins 0. We will step away here momentarily. You're listening to Blacksburg Bruins football on ESPN Blacksburg. I drive for BT because the money is great. I drive for BT because the hours fit my class schedule. I drive for BT because the benefits are great. We all drive for BT. You can too. Join us. Welcome back here, Bill Brown Stadium. The Blue Demon strike first, seven to nothing's the lead, 55 seconds to go. Number six, Spencer Connor does the Waterstone mortgage kick and it drives it back to number 11, Gordon Grisham Baden, where he is met there by number 10. Looks like Curtis Altizer, but he does bring the ball all the way back to the 25-yard line. So good job there by Grisham Baden getting that forward motion all the way back to the 25. But it looked like when Curtis Altizer hit him, it was like running into a brick wall right there, James. You know, I, I, I'll tell you what, Brad, it's almost like Gordon searched him out, too. It's yeah. like I felt like there's a little room yeah. over here to run, yeah. and he just like, oh, He's like, no, I'm, I'm going to hit him, I'm you know. Him. I was like, hey, well, you know, on. in the coach's, coach's uh, interview, yeah. he said that, that, that Gordon Grisham Baden would run through a brick wall. So, <laughs> he hey. tried. Yeah. He tried. All right, the Bruins break the huddle. They've got two receivers to the right. A slot guy to the right that goes in motions, James Rich. Snap is back, it's on the ground. And it, it was picked up, but then it was knocked down once again. And I don't know who got that back. Christiansburg. I believe Christiansburg recovers the fumble. Oh, that is not what that Blacksburg team wanted at all. It looked like we, we saw David Ajay in the game for the first time in the past couple. And ball, unfortunately, uh, just didn't get the handoff there. No, and it, you know, it's kind of, it was a low snap, hard to handle. And basically we went to pick it up. Sometimes, Brad, we just got to fall on it. You just got to eat our loss right there and just fall on it yeah. and be done with it. You'd rather do that than give them the ball to 18. Yeah. Christian Burke takes over here at the 18 yard line, 43 seconds to go here in the first quarter. We have got, uh, looks like Cam Cooper in the shotgun formation, two backs beside of him. Snap goes and 
Fakes the handoff to Evans, and he's going across the middle. And it looks like Cooper takes it up to about the 11-yard line where he will be met there by the Bruins. So Pick Brad, up of about eight on the on the play there. Yeah, that's it. Old, that's it. Just old quarterback power read right there, and, and the whole thing opens up. The quarterback is reading our linebacker. If our linebacker's throwing fast to play the power, the power, um, he's just going to pull it, and take it right, up the, right up the middle where he left from. That's what happened right there. Christian Burke breaks the huddle. Two receivers to the right. Cooper's under center. He does a toss pitch back to Tanner Evans. Evans plants his foot to the right and goes right back up the middle. Takes it down to about the nine-yard line. I don't know that it's enough for a first down. Looks like it's going to bring up third down and one for the Blue Demons. And that will be the end of the first quarter of play. Christiansburg Blue Demons, seven. The Blacksburg Bruins, zero. We will step away here momentarily. You're listening to Blacksburg Bruin football on ESPN Blacksburg. From Christiansburg leading the Bruins seven to nothing, and they are driving once again. They have the ball at the nine yard line. It is third and one for the Blue Demons. They break the huddle and they go to an overloaded side to the right. Handoff goes to Evans. Evans squeaks his way through, and it looks like he gets all the way down to the one yard line, not quite into the end zone. They will mark him down at the one where it will be first and goal for the Blue Demons. Yeah, they go to that power set right there, yep. Brad. It was unbalanced with the power back right there, and that's just like house right, man. That's it. That They're going, and, and you know, when that handoff goes to Evans, he's got great vision. He's going to follow it. He's going to find where that hole is. He's going to plant his foot, and he's going to go. Blue Demons once again break, break the huddle. They go to a heavy right. Pitch goes to Evans. He's going to the right side, but Braden DeMassey comes and meets him over there at the five-yard line. He and James Rich and Luke Poff. Great defensive play there by those young men. That's going to be a loss of three on the carry. It's going to bring up second and goal from the four for the Blue Demons. Boy, I tell you what, Braden DeMassey come through there like he was not going to be denied by anybody. He wasn't. And, and right here, now we got a personnel change by Christopher, probably going back more of their traditional offensive set. But uh, – Somehow we could just hold them to a field goal right here, Brad. That'd be crucial in this ball game. Be a big victory for the Bruins, that's for sure. Looks like Cam Cooper's in at the quarterback shotgun formation. To the right is Curtis Altizer. To the left is Thaxton Henley. Christiansburg has the twins to the left. Gotta get it looked like it was going to be a handoff, but Cam Cooper kept, kept it, ah. and he finds his way and wiggles all the way down into the end zone. Great job there by Cam Cooper. I mean, he held that ball on that fake to Henley for as long as he possibly could. The Bruins bit on Henley, and he pulled it at the last second and just found a little bit of a crease there to find his way into the end zone for a Blue Demon touchdown. I really thought Spencer had him right there, Brad. I mean, he came hard off that edge. Yep. and really had a good shot at him and he just kind of did one of those little quick back steps and it was like holy cow just a jitterbug right there Brad. Looks like number six Spencer Connor on for the point after on the hold is JT Thompson snap is back Connor's kick is up and it is no good Point after attempt is unsuccessful. Your new score here, 10.44 to go in the second quarter. Christiansburg 13, Blacksburg 0. We will step away. You're listening to Bruin Football on ESPN Blacksburg 93.1 and 97.1.
One thing about our college town is it's not a homogenous group of people. There are 50 or 60 different ethnicities of people who are attracted to come to Blacksburg and to Virginia Tech, and always a variety of activities. A police officer might be involved in a festival one day, downtown patrolling the next day, and on the third, a visit from a state or national dignitary. And it's one of the things we love about this town. I, I see service as something that, you know, so much dedication from somebody that puts in the time to take care of others. So officers that are in the field especially, their service to the local community is beyond what most people understand it is. There's a couple of officers, Jim's one of them, he comes in and it's always a very pleasant, hey, how you doing today? As he just kind of walk around and let people know that he's here for their protection. But it's good to have a good conversation with them. You know, those are things you like to see because it makes people feel good and comfortable. You know, integrity is something you learn, and I know that, it, you know, I teach my kids all the time, what is integrity? It's doing the right thing when nobody's looking. And it's something there that is the base of your foundation. Are you a person with integrity or are you not? And I know, based on the people that I work with on a day-to-day -day basis here in this gym, these are people who know right from wrong and who want to do what's best for the community. The police department is a friendly partner to all businesses in town. They're patrolling a site like mine, you know, um, at any given time of the day to make sure no one's trespassing, past closing, or someone could be vandalizing the building. I worry about that, you know, when, when we're closed. And so it's nice that the police department is making its rounds to help prevent something like that. So you know, thank goodness the police department are here for helping to keep the place safe. Well, one of the core values of the department is respect, and that's the officers having respect for each other, having respect for the community, and then us as town management having respect for our department and, and making it a place that really officers want to come to work every day. Welcome back here, Bill Brown Stadium. The Waterstone Mortgage kick by Spencer Connor drives Addison Bass all the way back to the 10. Bass has got a crease and he takes it all the way up to the 40, correction, 39 yard line of the Bruins. Great return there by number five, Addison Bass of the Bruins. Hey, that's a good start right there. Good field position to start this with, uh, this uh, possession with. We really need to put something in the end zone right here, Brad. They, they need to get a little bit of positivity from the offensive standpoint for sure. Blacksburg breaks the huddle. And it looks like Blacksburg's got a single receiver to the right, to the left. Walker goes in motion. Handoff goes to, it appears to be, is that David, David. Ajay? Yep. Handoff goes to David Ajay. Pickup of about four, four. on the carry, maybe three on the carry. So that's going to bring up second and seven for the Bruins from the 42 yard line. Hey, David did a good job right there making that first tackler miss. I mean, really could have been a loss right there, Brad. Um, yeah, it's good to see uh, David Ajay back in there. Uh, yeah. Had a little bit of an injury there uh, to begin the Salem game, so I haven't seen him for a couple weeks, but back in there. Bruins break the huddle. They've got two receivers to the right. Looks like Rich is gonna go in motion to the right. Snap is back, handoff to Ajay. He's over the right side, the 35 to 40. Takes it to the 50-yard line. And that's going to be, looks like a first down for the Bruins. Great job, Jay. We did a nice job getting the edge, Brad. Yeah, and David Ajay showed a little bit of quickness right there yep. and lowered his shoulder. You know, we've seen Ajay run a lot sort of straight up, but it looked like that time he sort of squared his shoulders up, got a little bit of extra yardage there, so got it down to midfield. Blacksburg breaks the huddle. Campbell's in a shotgun formation. Ajas straight behind him. Throw goes to Ethan Walker to the left-hand side. He's at the 50, and he's tackled immediately. Maybe one-yard gain on the reception there 
Uh, uh, looks like he brought was brought down by number 34, Kendrick Long, on that play. I tell you, we got to be careful right there. When when Walker caught that ball, the ball he, he had it way out here. It could have easily been a fumble right there, but uh, fortunately was able to secure it. So it brings up second and nine for the Bruins. They are into Blue Demon territory. 8.58 to go here in the second quarter. They need to find a way to get about four or five yards right here. Just make that third down play either. So the, as a defensive guy, you're thinking this could be run pass. Instead of third right. long, you're thinking mostly pass. So right. You need to get right. about four or five yards right here to put a little uncertainty in them. Blacksburg breaks the huddle. Ajay is behind Campbell. Rich goes in motion to the left. It looks like Campbell's going to keep it himself. He lowers his shoulder and picks up two additional yards there. Looks like he was met there by number eight, Brody Blunt of the Blue Demons. That's going to bring up third down for the Bruins from the 47-yard line. I was all Spencer right there. That's twice with David in there. There's been a little communication yep. issue with uh, what was supposed to happen. So yeah, and you know those are the things you got to clean up. You know, and I know that David's missed a couple weeks of practice and stuff. Uh, you know, due to the injury, but. Uh, uh, those are the things you can't have happen at this point. Hey, Brad, do we have 11 out there? Uh, it's going to be close. That looks like looks like they're going to have to call a timeout. Coach Sheeler, you got eyes like an eagle. I mean, you pick it up every time. I was talking to Parker the other day, and he's like, you know, there's not many people in this world that can see what Coach Sheeler sees. And there you are again, man, the mastermind. Parker's a mighty nice young man right there. <laughs> <laughs> I know this. I know you really need 11 because playing with 11 is hard enough. And if you only have 10, you're really hurting yourself. You're really at a disadvantage yes, there. We are, don't so. really need any more disadvantages <laughs> on this on <laughs> this part of the season, to be no, honest. No, we don't, so, Brad. you uh, got to play with 11. That's right. Good catch there. You know, again, that's a timeout that you waste because, in, in my opinion, it's those little things, and, and that's just a disciplined move right there. You, you got as a, as a player, as a team, you got to be disciplined enough to know I got to be out there because I'm letting my teammates down if I'm not, you yeah. know, and, and so that's a tough thing there. Bruins break from the, the timeout. Campbell's in a shotgun formation. Ajay's in the backfield behind him. James Rich goes in motion to the left. Snap goes, handoff to Ajay. Ajay's across the 50, and he might pick up a yard, but I believe he just barely got back to the line of scrimmage. That's going to bring up fourth down for the Bruins. Hey, we need another great putt right here, Brad. We really need to pin them deep, right, collect their breath, and get a stop. What about, uh, you know, what do you think about you, you got your quarterback back here at punt? You're inside Blue Demon territory. You ever you ever cross your mind of a, a fake punt here in this time, Coach? Uh, uh, right now, Brad, I, I'm punting the football no matter what. I am punting the football. I, you know, maybe lay in the game or something like that. But right now, I'm punting the football. Give the defense a chance again. They made some stops here and there. Maybe not enough stops, but they made some stops, and, and hopefully – we can um, Campbell's put kick series. is driven down into Christiansburg territory. Not a great kick. Looks like uh, number 20 for the Blue Demons. Donovan Richardson was able to get a hand on that punt, and um, it is going to be downed at the 28-yard line there. So not exactly the best best position they want, but it's better than what it could have been right, right there. Right, right. And you know, you look at the game so far, Brad. They've heard it us two ways. They both of them have been twin formations, right? One is in the gun, it's that power read action with the quarterback keep, and one is just a straight stretch play. So those are the two plays we've got to really start stopping, make them go to something else. Yep, you're right. Christian Burke breaks the huddle in the I formation, twins to the right, fakes the handoff. It looks like JT Thompson's rolling to his right. It looked like he was going to come down, but he somehow avoids a defensive tackler there. It looked like Spencer Campbell almost had him, but was not able to, to grab him down. And he picks up about three yards on that uh, uh, sort of quarterback scramble. Going to bring up second and seven for the Blue Demons. That could have been a huge loss there. Huge loss. I don't know if it was a call of pressure or, or what just happened to turn out that way. But we did a pretty good job. There's a little miscommunication in the back end, but we finally got it sorted out in time to, uh, to make the quarterback pull the ball down and create right. all this havoc right there. Back to their traditional pro-I formation. 
Quarterback Thompson's under center. Trap. It's a trap, and handoff goes to number 12, Thaxton Henley. He's across the 40, takes it up to about the 42-yard line. That will be a Christiansburg first down. Brad, defensive line did a tremendous job. We had a linebacker right there. We talked about it pregame. Make the tackle when you're in position. He was right in position, Brad, and now a zero-yard gain turns into a first down and a 10-yard yep. gain. You know, one key thing here, Braden DeMassey's over on the sideline getting a win, getting a little breather here. Uh, obviously, I don't know how long you can keep him over here. Handoff goes to number 12, Thaxton Henley. He's crossed the 45, takes it up to the 48-yard line of the Blue Demon. That's going to be a pickup of about six yards on that carry. He's going to bring up second and four. 5.23 to go here in the second quarter. Christiansburg leading Blacksburg 13 to nothing. And they are driving. Right, it, the trap play hadn't really hurt. We've done a good job there. And the, and the power play right there, we just need to squeeze a little bit faster, Brad. We're just a little bit hesitant. Once we squeeze a little faster, then we start coming underneath that, making it bounce and be in better position. Christiansburg takes the snap. Ball's on the ground, but Thompson falls on it. Right there was, it looked like for the Bruins, Look like Nathan Woolwine as yeah. well as Spencer Campbell. There's going to bring up third and long now. Uh, ball is spotted all the way back to the 45-yard line. So a uh, good turn of events there for the yeah. Bruins. And here comes Braden back in. You see Christopher's sub all ties are back in. That's the that's the fullback, and he's also a good uh, receiver out there in the flats, Brad. Right. So you start to think a little bit like that. Yep. We just need a hey, just need to cover him up, get a little pressure and hopefully we can get off the field right here, Brad. Christiansburg breaks the huddle. They're in their pro eye formation. Brody Blunt to the left. J. Ron Thompson to the right. You've got Curtis Altizer and Tanner Evans. Pass. Evans is going to be a halfback pass. He's got J. Ron Thompson down the field, and he hits him on a pass at the 20, and Thompson walks in the end zone for another Christiansburg Blue Demon touchdown. Just the old halfback pass, just a toss. You get that defense to flow up to tackle on that toss sweep, and he pulled up and threw it. They tried that play against Salem right at the end of the game, and it fell right out of the grasp of, of the receiver's hands. They come back to it here, and they, they make the Bruins pay for it right there with the touchdown pass from Tanner Evans all the way down to J. Ron Thompson. And that's something that they've, they've worked on all week, Brad. They, they knew it was coming. Obviously, you put um, Tanner Evans in there tailback. I mean, he's, he's also a quarterback. So it's sometimes you get in the moment of those games and you just don't really do exactly what you're always supposed to do. Snap is back and Spencer Connors extra point attempt is up and good. Your new score here, 4.08 to go in the second quarter. Christiansburg 20, Blacksburg zero. We will step away momentarily. You're listening to ESPN Blacksburg. back here to Blacksburg, Virginia. Spencer Connors kick drives Grisham Baden all the way back to about the two yard line, but he comes back through and he weaves his way through the Christiansburg defenders and takes the kickoff return all the way back to 
what appears like the 42-yard line. Great return there by Gordon Grissom Baden. That Waterstone mortgage kick by Spencer Connor couldn't have been a better kick. He kicked to the pylon in the corner, and it hit the turf, and it just died right there. Yep. You know, thinking Gordon Grissom's thinking that it's going in the end zone, but he did a great job to go over there because it's a live ball and made the most of it there. So great job there by Gordon Grisham Baden. Blacksburg breaks the huddle. Two receivers to the right, two to the left. The Jai's in the backfield with Campbell. Campbell surveys the defense. Shotgun snap back, handoff to Ajay. He's over the left-hand side, takes it up to about the 46-yard line. So that'll be a pickup of four on the carry. Look like, looked like number uh, number 12, Thaxton Henley, on the tackle there for the Blue Demons. You can kind of see on that play, you know, that defensive end keeps wanting to squeeze a little bit harder. Spencer's going to pull the ball eventually. And he's got a nice little run leg yep. once the defensive end keeps coming a little bit harder. So. Well, you know, Spencer's probably our hardest runner, you know. Yes. And, and you put him in that position to be successful. Blacksburg breaks the huddle once again in the spread formation. Snaps back to Campbell. He's looking to his left. There he fakes. Is. He's going deep. He's got Ethan Carpa at the 25, the 20. Carpa's at the 15, and he's driven out of bounds down there by Tanner Evans all the way down to the 14-yard line. Just a little hitch and go right there, James. Hitch and go, Brad. You kind of see how we were setting it up a little bit earlier in the game, and, and we set it up both times we've done it to the left. Yep. So kind of saw something there, and it worked out great. Hey, he was wide open. Wide, wide, wide open. Let's find a way to put it in the end zone right here. 3-12 to go here in the second quarter. Blue Demons leading the Bruins 20-0. to zero. Great pass play there from Campbell to Carpa. Bruins break the huddle. Single single back in the backfield, standing beside of Campbell is Ajay. Two receivers to the right, two to the left. Poff goes in motion, low snap. Campbell is gonna take it himself. He's gonna do everything he can to get back to the line of scrimmage, but he is going to be brought down for about a yard and a half loss on that carry it was the snap the snap was low he had to pick it up from his shoestrings and it just threw everything off right there yeah the time he wasn't there and and luckily he picked it up this time all right at least we didn't lose the football it's, it's second and 12. got to still have a great opportunity to put points on the board right here Brad. yeah you, you know if you're if you're a brewing you got to find a way to find pay dirt right here you know yes. this is as deep a territory as you've been in in a while so you got to find a way here Campbell surveys, the snap is back. He's looking to his left. He, he's gonna throw and pass is intended for Ethan Carpa over into the flats, but it's gonna fall incomplete. That is gonna bring up third and about 12 from the 16 yard line for the Bruins. That play just didn't look right yeah, right there. Yeah, there, there was no timing right there. It was, it was really tough looking play. I'm not sure what was trying to happen and, and we're kind of like working into the boundary so there's really not much space in, uh there but you you know big jackson pool got through there brad and uh, holy cow when he lands on top of you and, uh, and man, he's a strong yes young man. he is yes he is talked to him last night quite a fine young man he is third and 12 206 to go here from the 16 yard line campbell's got it handoff goes to a giant he is going to be met in the backfield there could not tell who that was in on the tackle, James. I think there was more than one of them, Brad. Looks like so, number 80. 87. 87, Robert McCray, I believe, was the main initial uh, tackler there. Looks like Liam Minna will come on the field for the field goal attempt for the Bruins. My question is, why is the clock not running? I, that's what I, I don't, don't understand. I don't understand that either. It's not like it's there's a call timeout. It's a now, run play. Now it's running. We lost about 20 seconds. Yep. That's just 20 more seconds. Chris Snap is back. Has. Menace kick is up and it is going to fall incomplete. Uh, just did not quite hit it squared up there. It sort of was like a knuckleball going through the air and it's gonna fall short. So Blacksburg comes away with no points there after that big play uh, from Campbell to, to Carpa. Um, but defense for Blue Demons stepped it up right there. Stepped it up. And uh, you know, kept the, Blue, kept the Bruins out of the end zone. So now, Christiansburg takes over, first and 10 from the 20, minute 57 to go here. We kind of shot our own selves a little bit right there with that snap on first down and that whole second down, that whole pass play, just there was not something right about that, that whole thing. Just so, didn't look good, did it? No, it didn't. Blue Demons break the huddle. They're in a tight formation, two tight end, one receiver set. 
Handoff goes to Thaxton Henley. Henley's across the 30, 35, takes it down to the 37 yard line. Good hard run there by Henley. Yeah, Brad, we're just not, we're just not making the things bounce right now. Like earlier we had it going sideways. Now they're just hitting it straight downhill and, and you can see with the results of it. So uh, we got to come a little harder, make the thing bounce. So they're not coming straight downhill. In on the tackle there for the Bruins, number three, Luke Paw from that safety position. Minute 34 and counting here. First down for the Blue Demons from the 37. Once again, double tight situation here. Come Toss on. sweep goes to Tanner Evans around the left side. He's at the 40, the 45, the 50. He's at the 45 of the Bruins, and he is knocked out of bounds over on the Christiansburg sideline by number three, Luke Poff, once again. And it looks like the Blue Demons will have it first and 10 from the Bruins 45. Minute 20 to go, clock stops on Evans's out of bounds play there. He's a, he's a tough guy to tackle he is. an open field, Brad. We were talking there, you know, in the break, you know, in our days of playing, it reminds me of a Marcus Parker that played at Virginia Tech and at Salem and uh, just low to the ground and runs hard, big thighs, you know, and uh, looks like uh, this is going to be a timeout on the field by the Bruins. That'll be their third and final timeout of the half. 120 to go here in the second quarter. Christiansburg Blue Demons 20, Blacksburg Bruins 0. We'll take a 30-second break, and we'll be right back. You're listening to ESPN Blacksburg. Welcome back here, Bill Brown Stadium, David Chris Field. Bruins football is brought to you exclusively by Keller Williams. First and 10 for the Blue Demons from the Blacksburg 45. Minute 20 to go here in the second quarter. The Blue Demons are leading the Bruins in this Battle of the Bergs 20 to zero. Two backs in the backfield. Snap comes back to Cam Cooper. Cam Cooper keeps the ball. He's making a couple moves. He's at the 40. And that's where he is brought down there by number two, James Rich, as well as number three, Luke Paul. Looks like he, they actually brought him down at the 41. So that's going to be about a four yard run, but it's about a. I mean, he, he ran probably 20 yards, you know. Oh, my goodness, yeah. He is tough, tough to handle right there, bro. Just quick feet and uh, just made so many different moves. But, you know, at some point. You know, you go back to football 101, you watch where their waist is and that's where they're going, you know? And and, yep, and that's buddy. just that's just breaking down and following it, you know? And uh, it's going to be, uh, looks like the Blue Demons call timeout here. We're going to keep it here a minute seven to go here in the second quarter. Just, um, I always have this question, Brad, earlier, right before the uh, we tried the field goal, you know, the clock wasn't running, right? I don't know how many seconds should have run off does that come back to haunt us oh, right here, Oh, it very well could. I mean, there was no timeout. It was no incomplete pass. I mean, I mean, no, uh, no incomplete pass to stop the clock. So, um, it, it I'm not very sure well could come back to haunt us here. A minute seven to go. Christiansburg still has two timeouts remaining. Christiansburg breaks the huddle. They're in a I formation. Two tight ends on the line. Altizer and Evans in the backfield. Pitch goes pass to Evans. Again. He's going to be a halfback pass from Evans. He's going deep. Blacksburg is back there in coverage. And whoo, so lucky they were able to defend J. Ron Thompson there. That actually should have been another touchdown. It looked like it looked Javier Waldron and, and, and Luke Poff had went over. And, and it was almost like they stopped. I don't know if they got caught in the lights or what, yeah. but the ball was still about three yards over top of them. Yeah. It almost fell into Thompson's hands. You know, threw it into double coverage. We just didn't adjust to the ball right. very well back there. And, and a great job, I want to say this, great job by Spencer right there. He stayed right at home waiting for the quarterback to come back out. He was you know, basically the secondary read yep. for, the, for uh, Tanner on that play. Good job there. Christian Burke breaks the huddle. Third and six here from the 41. A minute to go. Power. Handoff goes to Evans. Evans is driving his legs, takes it all the way down to the 35, and that looks like it will be enough for a Blue Demon first down with 51 seconds to go here. Looks like there's official timeout. It might be just a little bit shy, actually, James. I think it's shy, Brad. It, it, I really it looked do. like he got a better spot, but yeah. 
Wow. It's fourth down. The official is fourth down, so it's going to be fourth and inches here. Clock is spinning, 46 seconds and counting. Christiansburg will take their last time out of the half. Coach Wilkins is asking for them to give a measurement there. Yeah, he's trying he's to want, He's wanting to save time. him a little time there. Good coaching yeah. move there on, on Wilkins' part. I probably would be asking the same thing, yeah. you know. These, this turf, though, is nice straight line. Yeah, so you, yeah. you can see it's about yeah. a foot short right there. Yeah, so. I can remember painting lines, you yeah. know, when I worked in Salem. And they weren't quite as straight as this right here. But, yeah, uh, uh, yeah it, it's, you, it's, it's pretty easy to look across and try to yeah. determine what you got there. So right now, Brad, you know, you're thinking – all right, first thing they're going to try to do is get you to jump offside. Then, then if they don't, with no timeouts, you got to probably end up going quarterback sneak, some type of fullback dive to the all times they get. So I'm thinking that's what they're going to try to do. They're going to try to freeze us real quick so they can get the quick five on the jumping offside. And then when they don't, they'll just go under center pressure with the quarterback and just straight quarterback sneak. You know, in this particular situation all year long, James, it's been like the big play. Yeah. Like, like they've been here. You know, it's been fourth and one or third and short. Yeah. And, and you have them, and then boom, they break it and score a touchdown. And it's just heartbreaking for for the defense. So yeah. they got to find a way here to come also, up with a stop. Blue Demons on the field, double tight. Power. Handoff goes to Thaxton Henley. He's across the 30. He's going to pick up a Blue Demon first down all the way down to the 27-yard line. Nothing difficult about that for Thaxton Henley. He just sort of. Found that, that crease right off tackle and picks up good yardage. 36 seconds and counting. Snap is back. Fakes the handoff. Cooper rolls to his left. He's looking down the field. He's being chased. He is going to run. Keep him Looks like out of bounds. They were trying to keep him in bounds, but he finds his way out of bounds over close to the 21, 22 yard line. And that's going to stop the clock here with 25 seconds to go. It's going to bring up second and five. For the Blue Demons. Great coverage right there. Great coverage right there, Brad. I mean, it was really a good job by the boys. And, uh, you know, sometimes they, we lose contain, and yep. that happens. That happens, but we really need to get that inside linebacker scraping hard off that edge Coming up. Yep. to get that secondary contain That's right. for that quarterback. Blue Demons break the huddle. Once again, two tight end formations, single receiver to the right. Handoff goes to Thaxton Henley over the right side. He takes it down to about the 16-yard line, almost all the way down to the 15. That will be enough for a Blue Demon first down. They're right back on the line because the clock's going to start spinning. 19 seconds and go. Cooper's under center. He takes the ball, fakes the handoff. He's rolling to his right. He's got Curtis Altizer in a flash. What an unbelievable catch by Altizer. And he is going to take it in for a Blue Demon Nope, looks like he is going to be down at the one. What a catch by Altizer. I mean, that he just went up with one hand and just pulled it back in. Holy cow. Brad, we talked about that time earlier, right? So it looks like then the Blue Demons did have one timeout remaining. I, I thought that was their last one the last time. So There's six seconds left on the clock. Six guys. seconds. And if, if, if that clock wasn't – Hadn't have been stopped, as you mentioned there earlier, that clock would be expired right now. So all aspects of the game come into play right there. Yeah. That's a costly era here in, in yeah. the press box. And, and, you know, and, and I will say this. I don't know if the, uh, the referee signaled something. It might have been a, some type of equipment or something, but we didn't notice. But I never saw anything like that, and I never saw a kid have to leave the field. Mm -mm. So. No, that's a, that's a tough one. You know, you got six seconds to go here. Uh, you, you know, this is the last play, no matter it, what. It is There's the last play. I, I, do you think they come out with that heavy package here? Why not, Brad? I mean, they're just been running it straight downhill, and they're having no I problem. Think, I think you're going to see that big freshman we talked about, number 79, Jaden Edwards, coming in 6'4", 356. He's going to go into that loaded formation, possibly. Nope. Uh, it still looks like he's going on the line, so it's yeah. going to be Curtis Altizer and – it looks like they are going to sneak it in. No sign yet, and now that is a sign. That is a touchdown for Cam Cooper for another Blue Demon touchdown right here with two seconds to go before the half. That is costly. Tough right there, Brad. Tough. Really, play. really tough. Yeah. So it looks like uh, 26 to nothing is a score here. Two seconds to go. 
Spencer Connor on for the extra point attempt for the Blue Demons. J.G. Thompson on the hold. Thompson looks back to Connor. Snap is back. Holds down. Kick is up. And Connor's kick is good. Your new score, Christiansburg Blue Demons 27, Blacksburg 0. Two seconds to go here in the first half. That's a tough, tough swall right there. Tough, bro. tough, tough. We're going to keep it here uh, since we only got a couple of seconds. So you, you know, I mean, you, you go back to – to it, you, you look, the big play, the halfback pass um, that they scored a touchdown on. The second touchdown that they scored, we fumbled and gave them the ball on the 18. Um, and then this situation here, I mean, you know, that is just, I mean, that's just deflating uh, yes. as, as, a, as a team. And, uh, you know, I tell you, Christiansburg has done a great job of, of they understand their mindset and what they're doing. And, um, they're not changing it, and they're just coming right at you. That's what they're doing. Looks I mean, like Waterstone Mortgage Kick here, set to go. Uh, Spencer Connor is teeing it up. It looks like Gordon Grisham Baden back deep. What were you going to say, James? No, I was just saying, and then you go back to the catch by Altizer. Oh. I mean, that keeps that whole oh. thing going. It was really, really spectacular. Baden, Unbelievable kick. Connor approaches the ball. And the kick is up. He's kicking it deep. And it's caught there by Gordon Grissom Baden at the three. He's at the 15. He's at the 20. And he's met there by a host of Blue Demons where he will go down. And that will be the end of the first half of play where the Bruins are trailing the Christiansburg Blue Demons 27 to 0. We are going to step aside for a couple minutes. When we return, we will bring you the Sheeler Motor Mile Halftime Show. You're listening to Bruin Football on ESPN Blacksburg. One thing about our college town is it's not a homogenous group of people. There are 50 or 60 different ethnicities of people who are attracted to come to Blacksburg and to Virginia Tech, and always a variety of activities. A police officer might be involved in a festival one day, downtown patrolling the next day, and on the third, a visit from a state or national dignitary. And it's one of the things we love about this town. I, I see service as something that, you know, there's so much dedication from somebody that puts in the time to take care of others. So officers that are in the field especially, their service to the local community is beyond what most people understand it is. There's a couple of officers, Jim's one of them, he comes in and it's always a very pleasant, hey, how you doing today? As he just kind of walk around and let people know that he's here for their protection. But it's good to have a good conversation with them. You know, those are things you like to see because it makes people feel good and comfortable. You know, integrity is something you learn, and I know that, it, you know, I teach my kids all the time, what is integrity? It's doing the right thing when nobody's looking. And it's something there that is the base of your foundation. Are you a person with integrity or are you not? And I know, based on the people that I work with on a day-to-day -day basis here in this gym, these are people who know right from wrong and who want to do what's best for the community. The police department is a friendly partner to all businesses in town. They're patrolling a site like mine, you know, um, at any given time of the day to make sure no one's trespassing, past closing, or someone could be vandalizing the building. I worry about that, you know, when, when we're closed. And so it's nice that the police department is making its rounds to help prevent something like that. So, you know, thank goodness the police department are here for helping to keep the place safe. Well, one of the core values of the department is respect, and that's the officers having respect for each other, having respect for the community, and then us as town management having respect for our department and, and making it a place that really officers want to come to work every day.
Looks like Liam Mena is set to kick the ball off for the Waterstone Mortgage kick here of the second half. Back deep, Matt Annis as well as number three, J. Ron Thompson for the Blue Demons. Got a couple burners back there, Brad. Yeah, they're quick. They are real quick. Mena surveys the field, looks to his left, looks to his right. He approaches the ball, and that kick is driven all the way back to the five-yard line, and it is going to roll into the end zone for a touchback. Good kick there by Mena. The Blue Demons will take over here to start this third quarter at the 20 yard line. Tell you what, man, that ball had a little knuckle on it. Yeah. It's a hard thing. It looked like uh, J. Ron was underneath it to be able to catch it, and that thing just took a it's hard smooth. left. Every time I see the knuckleballs, if you're a Blacksburg fan and, and you know history and tradition at Blacksburg, back in the Blacksburg Indians days, Coach Bowyer, who the field house is named after, he would always have that knuckleball throw. You know, what a true hero Coach Bowyer is. I miss him. Yeah. and. Uh, just a fine man, but every time I see a knuckleball, I think of, I think of him uh, with that football set. Yeah, that concentration did he really did. Yeah, they're coming out in that power set. It looks like Brad. Yep, a little unbalanced. They got looks like they've got oh, uh, no, two receivers the to the right. Yeah. Uh, snap coming. goes back to Thompson. Handoff immediately <laughs> to <laughs> looks like number twelve Henley. Henley is met there by Braden DeMassey, as well as looked like number 60 of the Bruins. Yeah, uh, that's uh, Braden, Braden Duncan. Duncan. And you know, Braden from that defensive end position played it really good, Brad. He came underneath the blocks, made it go sideways instead of north and south, and we were able to get a stop right that, there. You that's know? what no you got to do. That's what you got to do, and uh, terrific job there. I tell you what, I wouldn't want to run into those big paws of Braden DeMassey's. Snap is back. Handoff goes to Thaxon Henley once again. DeMassey meets him right in the hole. Only a pickup of about two yards on the carry. Another. They ran power. First play, they ran it to the right. Second play, they ran it to the left. You can tell we've gone in at halftime, made some slight adjustments to take care of that power play right there, Brad. Third and, what, six now? Uh, actually, about third and seven. Hey, great. Yeah, it's from great the ball job. spotted yep. at, looks like the ball is spotted at the 23. Great. Christian Burke breaks the huddle. All ties are in the fullback position. Henley, no, that's Tanner Evans back there now. Toss pitch to Evans. He plants his foot. He's back over the left-hand side. Addison Bass hands him, and he's going to drag him down. He is going to be short of the first down. He's able to get back to about the 27, maybe 28-yard line, but it's going to bring up fourth down for the Blue Demons. I tell you, Addison did a good job there uh, hitting and just holding on because yep. Tanner was dragging him down the field, but uh, uh, he found a way to, to bring him down. Gordon Grisham Vaden goes back into – at the punt returner position, set to punt for the Blue Demons, number 10, Curtis Altizer. Snap is back. Altizer's punt is away. He drives it back to about the 38. Grisham Baden has it at the 40, 45, and he is going to be brought down there. Looks like he might have gotten up to about the 46-yard line. Hey. Great job by the defense, Brad. You can tell they're salty right now, man. They got something to prove out there. They come out, get a three and out. We have great, great field position. Hey, proud of those kids, proud of those coaches. Good job right there. Yeah, you got to dig in. You got to dig in. I mean, you, you, you know, you talked about it last week. You know, what's your purpose? Yeah. You know, what is our purpose? What What's our identity? And and, and you go in and you got to figure this out. And uh, so you're right. Terrific job there to start the the third quarter, Blacksburg breaks the huddle. Two receivers to the left, two to the right. A giant in the backfield with Campbell. Campbell surveys the defense. Snap is back. He looks to his left. He's going back to his right. And he is going to be brought down in the backfield. It looks like number 15, Deshaun Garrison, as well as big number 62, Jackson Poole, for the Blue Demons. He just came around that edge so quick, Brad. Spencer didn't see him but to his blind side. And you know, once you pat that ball twice, you kind of hope you got rid of it by then. Uh, well, I tell you what, James, it's good to see Deshaun Garrison out there playing. He had a scary injury against the uh, uh, the Radford Bobcats and uh, was not able to play last week, but it's back out here uh, against the Bruins tonight. And, uh, uh, you know, that injury was, was, was scary uh, for a whole community there. But 
uh, he, he's back out there playing, so great, great to see him as well. Snaps back to Campbell. He's looking to his left. He throws across the middle, intended for Poff, but the ball falls incomplete in on the coverage for the, the Blue Demons, number 20, Donovan Richardson. That's going to bring up third and 18 from the 38-yard line. 9.05 to go here. Blue Demons leading the Bruins 27-0. to Yeah, you saw uh, Curtis Alltime. He was just reading Spencer's eyes right there, and he was flowing nicely with Spencer's eyes, and I almost thought it was going to be a pick six right there, Brad. He, he's really kind of got in the way and made that such a tough catch. And I tell you, I almost think you do a little hitch and go right here. You know, uh, uh, you see if you can get Thompson to bite up on, on Price. He's got Price across the middle, but he throws the ball behind him, almost intercepted there by number three, J. Ron Thompson. Uh, but it looked like uh, it looked like number seven, Xavier Price, was open for the Bruins. I don't know if he would have been able to get the first down, but it would have been much closer than where he is right now. Much closer. All right. Hey, but worst case scenario, right now, we didn't turn the ball over. Okay. Now we can punt it away. Let's we'll see if we can get another stop on defense. All you right? know, last time was almost blocked. You know, we're, yep. we're sort of running that rugby style kick, and, and, and Christiansburg's gotten smart to that. They're shooting somebody and almost got the block previously. We'll see if Blacksburg sticks with it. Campbell's the snaps back. Campbell gets the punt off. It's a good punt. Drives it all the way back to about the 20. Yeah, official keeps moving up. It's going to be spotted at almost the 30. It's going to be about the 29. That's where the Blue Demons will take over. First and 10 here, 8.58 to go. Yeah, no return though, Brad. You know, obviously they got a game plan. They're sticking to it. And, uh, you know, you get about 30 yards or so in that punt, but there was no return, no big play happened. So. Yeah, and I mean, and I think that's been their game plan yeah. on, on their punt. Uh, so that, that's been nice from a special teams perspective. Uh, we definitely are playing better on yep. the special teams tonight than we have the past few games. Christian Burke breaks the huddle. Two receivers to the right, eye backfield. Fakes the handoff. Cooper rolls to his right. He's looking down the field. He throws, and he has got his guy, J. Ron Thompson, at about the 40-yard line. It looks like it'll be a pickup of 11 and a first down for the Blue Demons. I tell you what, Brad, it wasn't really covered that, Brad, it, bad. It was just the ball was put in a nice spot right there. Good pass and catch. Yeah, I mean, you know, Cooper just rolled out. He, he was patient. He waited yeah. for Thompson to get open, and uh, uh, he just sort of threaded the needle right there and got it to him right before he went out of bounds. Ball is spotted at about the 40. And it looks like uh, Christenberg breaks the huddle. Two receivers to the short side of the field. He's going to toss sweep to the wide side to Tanner Evans around the left. He's at the 45, the 50, the 40, 30, 20, 25, 10. And he is in to the end zone for a Christiansburg touchdown 60 yard touchdown run by number four the junior tanner evans got to use the field right there against this brad uh you know right there we talked in the pregame the corners are gonna have to make some tackles on that play that corner was a really unblocked mm -hmm. you really got to come up and make that tackle. break down and you got to hit him low yeah and you, you you could see it that's why i was mentioning Two receivers to the short side of the field yeah. because the wide side was wide open and and they made us pay right there. Yeah. Spencer Con Connor on for the extra point attempt for the Blue Demons. Holding is JT Thompson. Six, Snap nine, is nine, nine, back. Hold down. Connor's nine, kick nine, is up and that kick nine, is nine, good. Nine, Our new score here nine, with 8.41 to go in the third nine, quarter. Nine, Christiansburg 34, nine, Blacksburg nine, zero. We will step away for a moment. You're listening to Bruin Football on ESPN Blacksburg. Come and do a ride along. So I'd encourage anyone to do a ride along. I would definitely say come do a ride along. There's a ride along form on our website that you can do a ride along if you're willing to see the things that we do see in EMS sometimes. You do have to be prepared if you're going to do a ride along. Because ride along you actually come on calls with us and you can see exactly what's happening. Ride-alongs are a fantastic opportunity for you not only to see the medical care that we provide, but see the other members that exist at this agency and all the diversity and all the excitement that having different mindsets and different ideologies can bring to your experience in medicine and in, within the community.
with you. And there's no better experience than to actually see it. That way you can make your determination as to whether or not this is for you. We hope that it is. Come see what our facility is like. Come tour, come look at an open house. We are here 24 seven. You can go to our website and you can sign up for a ride along whenever it best suits you. Come prepared because we're not gonna take you on a fake call. We're gonna take you on a real call. So you're gonna get to see exactly what we get to see. Welcome back here, Bill Brown Stadium. 34 to zero is the score. Christiansburg leading the Bruins. Spencer Connors, Waterstone mortgage kick, drives Grisham Vaden back to the 15. Vaden takes it all the way back up to the 38 yard line where the Bruins will take over first and 10. That's a tough one to handle right there, Brad. Very tough. Yeah, definitely need to make something happen right here. We need to stack a few first downs together and find a way to get in the end zone. Yeah, you know, I mean, and, and if anything, I mean, you, you want to find a way just to keep the chains moving. Yeah. You know, you got to find some positivity here. I mean, because you take away a few plays and it's a much closer ball game than what we have right now. But unfortunately, with the disappointing issues we've had, it's been tough, you know? Looks like we only got 10 out there again, Brad. That's unfortunate. We gotta yeah. have 11, that's for sure. Mm. Campbell fakes the handoff. He's over to the left side. He's at the 40, 45, loses the ball, but Javier Waldron is right there at midfield and he recovers it. Campbell was a little slow getting up here. He took a pretty good shot on, on the, looked like the shin area, yeah. knee or shin area. He's a little slow getting up. Really Looks like okay. he is going to come out of the game for the Bruins. Um, not exactly sure. Uh, it looks like Luke Poff's going to come in as the uh, uh, quarterback here. Uh, hopefully, uh, Spencer Campbell's okay. You know, uh, he took a pretty good shot right there. Yeah, and sometimes you get hit on that little tender area down there, whether it's your thigh or your shin, and it's just. Uh, Sometimes those are very, very painful. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. All right, Brad. Okay, uh, looks like uh, Luke Poff snap is back. Blacksburg is going to call a timeout here. Um, we're going to keep it here for this one. Uh, looks like there was a little bit of confusion there. Luke Poff was coming in the game as the uh, quarterback. Um, yeah. Sometimes, you know, we kind of get frustrated watching, watching a college game, but those kids, when they get hurt, they stay down, Brad. And, and they're doing that, so. Got more, time to, yeah. to, to, to take advantage here. And, you, you know, I, uh, um, and it, you know, it's hard. I, I remember playing. You know, as always, I, I tried in my mentality was, you know, if I get hit hard, I, my, my mentality, I'm getting back up, you know, because there's a few times I wasn't sure I was going to. But, you know, you, like, make your mind do that. And, you know, Spencer Campbell's that type of kid. He's just tough, hard-nosed kid. He's not going to go down easy. And and so, you know, you see that. And uh, um, But you're right, Coach. I mean, uh, you, you do want him. That gives you a little bit extra time of preparation. Yeah. So it looks like. Snap is down. Uh, Poff is scrambling. He's at the, looks like he's at, gets to the, about the 44 yard line. That's going to be a loss on the play. Unfortunately, the snap was down low uh, there for Luke. Uh, just sort of starting behind the eight ball right there. Yeah. Unfortunately, he's going to bring up second down. Kind of falling apart a little bit, Brad. We just need to kind of take a deep breath, collect ourselves. And, and like you've always said as a coach, Brad, I've heard you say it a hundred times, you know, what the most important play is the next play. That's so, the next play, yep. Uh, let's, let, let's try to put it, a good play together right here. And that's what you got to do. Ball spotted at the 44-yard line. It's going to be second and 17. One receiver to the right, two to the left. A giant in the backfield with Poff. Snap is back. Ball is on the ground. Poff falls on it at the 40-yard line. It's going to be another loss of about four yards there. It's going to bring up third and about 21. Yeah, good snap right yep. there, Brett. You know, Luke's just trying to do something before he has the ball in his hands. He hasn't right. taken many snaps this year. This is kind of, you're playing against a really good football team. 
know. It's a tough situation. Very tough know? situation. Very tough situation. And, you know, they've gotten Luke more involved in the offensive set from, like, the receiver standpoint and that type of stuff. And, you, you know, because Luke's one of those kids, you got to have him on the field. you you yep. got to put your best 11 out there. So that sort of takes away some of the – uh, uh, looks like Poff is going deep. He throws it down the field intended for James Rich, but it is out of the reach of Rich, and that's going to bring up fourth down uh, for the Bruins. Looks like Spencer Campbell's going back on the field here, maybe to pump, but there is a penalty flag down back in the Blacksburg backfield. Yeah, I think there's a little extracurricular activity. This should go against Christiansburg. It's like personal foul is the call. It will go against Christiansburg. I don't know that it's enough yardage to get a first down. I'm not sure what It looks like, you know, we're, we're 21 yards back. It's not an automatic first down in high school football. Right. So it's going to be fourth and much more manageable. But uh, um, it will actually take the ball down into Blue Demon territory. Coach Wilkins is out there. He's trying to find out who it was on his team, and he immediately pulls that player out of the game. Well, I don't know, Brad. I think he's still out there, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. Looks like he uh... But, you know, he's going out right now. Yeah. Because right now you're up 34 nothing. If you get another one, you're out the next game. Yeah. So, you know, he might, we might not see him in here again. Yeah, you got to be smart right there. And I know yeah. it's a rivalry matchup. Blacksburg is going to have to call their second time out of the half here. 6.26 to go in the third quarter. Bruins down 34-0 to zero to the Blue Demons. We'll step away for a 30-second break. You're listening to ESPN Blacksburg. So have you applied for any jobs yet? Nah, I'm just going to sit all day. So am I. Next stop, Torgerson Hall. Don't just sit. Sit profitably. Drive for BT and get a $2,000 hiring bonus. Welcome back here, Bill Brown Stadium, David Crisfield. Penalty goes against the Blue Demons, but not enough for a first down for the Bruins. However, the Bruins come out with their offensive set. They're going to go for it here. Campbell's back out at the quarterback position. He looks to the left. He's got Javier Waldron. Waldron takes it across the 40. That's going to be a Bruin first down, James. Hey, we needed that, Brad. We needed that. Just a little bit of momentum right now. Opportunity to keep the ball, possibly score down here. That was crucial. Well, really you know, you think about it, and I'm sure Coach Wilkins, he's looking over here. This is a learning lesson because, you know, you're in a tight ball game, and that happens, and the team gets a first down. You know, that that's trouble. So it's good learning lesson. Campbell's. Snap is back, and Ooh. Campbell throws it, and it is going to be intercepted. Ball just sort of hung up on him there. Ball was intended for That's Ethan Walker, but it looks like looks like Brody Blunt with the interception there for the Blue Demons at the 20 yard line. That ball just sort of it almost looked like it slipped out of his hand or something. It just sort of hung up there in the air. Yeah, but I was trying to figure out. I'm not going to say this on Spencer or the receiver. But there was some type of communication issue right there. Yep. It just isn't, didn't seem right. So. Well, you know, and, and, and we've, we've talked about this a little bit. From a receiver standpoint, when that ball's in the air, you got to fight for it. you got to help your quarterback out a little yep. bit, you know? Sure. Christian got Burks got the ball at the 20. Two receivers to the right. They're in the I formation. Handoff goes. Looks, looked like uh, Thaxton Henley on the – on the carry, it looks like the ball went on the ground. Braden DeMassey had it, but they're not going to call it a fumble. It, it appears that it's going to be a loss on the play, though. Uh, so Braden DeMassey, once again, making his presence known in there. One yard loss, second and 11 from the 19. Now, I know it's been a tough year for Braden, you know, just because the wins and losses, but he showed up every game. Oh, every game. I mean, that young man, he, you know, whether it's practice, whether it's game, he he's here, you know. Yeah. So snap goes. It looks like JT Thompson's looking down the field. Pass is intended for number 20, Donovan Richardson, the tight end. Falls a little bit out of his grasp there. It's going to be incomplete. That's going to bring up third and 11. They had all ties are running wide open down the sideline right there. 
you know, our corner was doing a good job running with the tight end, but we had nobody on that running and back out of the back. After the, after the catch I saw Altizer make down here yeah. in the red zone, I wouldn't leave him open for anything. <laughs> no. Whew. Blue Demons break the huddle. They're in their normal pro eye set. Receiver to the right, receiver to the left. Now they're going to break out Altizer and Twins to the right with a single back in the backfield. JT Thompson looks. They're going to run a screenplay over to Brody Blunt. Blunt's going to have a pickup of about six yards, but that is not going to be enough for a Blue Demon first down. Brings up fourth and three for the Blue Demons. Balls is spotted at the 28-yard line. 5.05 to go here in the third quarter. Blue Demons leading the Bruins 34-0. to Boy, we needed that, Brad. We got a couple good breaks right there defensively. We really need that. We need to get a returner back there, too. Yeah, I mean, we got to hustle back. I mean, it, we're just walking back there. Those are the little things, and that's what that's what causes mix-ups, you know? Altizer's punt is away. Drives it back to the 38. Returner steps away from it. Then he runs and go. picks it up. He's at the 45 to 50. Takes it down to the Christiansburg. 40, looks like about 39 yard line. Yeah, Christiansburg never picked the ball up. The ball was literally laying there, Brad. Yep. Good play right there coming in, just getting that ball and, and realize everybody else stopped. I'm going to keep That's playing. right, yep. It's uh, uh, and picks up good yardage there. I mean, probably a pickup of, of about 20 yards on that reception. Big difference in field position right now. Takes it down to the to the uh, Blue Demon 44 yard line where the Bruins will take over first and 10. 4:28 to go here in the third quarter. Campbell back in at quarterback for the Bruins. Receivers on the left side: Xavier Price as well as Luke Poff. On the right side, you've got uh, Javier Waldron. James Rich goes in motion. Snap is back, hand off to David Ajay. He goes off the left-hand side. He's keeping his legs moving. Pick up of about four yards on the carry. Takes it down in between the 40 and 41 yard line where it will be second and about seven. Good for job. The Good job. We got a little push right there, Brad. We won a great push, but got a little push. And then he fell forward and got that extra yard. I mean, just need to keep plugging away, Brad. Plugging away. Yep, they, 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 they surely do. Bruins break the huddle. Poff and Waldron to the right. Xavier Price single receivers to the left. Rich goes in motion to the left. Hand off up the middle to Ajay. He's across the 40. Takes it down to about the 35 yard line. Close to a Bruin first down, but not enough. It's going to bring up third and one for the Bruins. Good hard run there by Jai. You know, great run there. I really like that formation again. And they're really playing off coverage with those corners. It'd be nice just to catch the ball and throw it right now to the receivers. Not even go up the field, just catch it and then take off up the field after you do catch it. But he doesn't need to go five yards for a hit. Just stand there and catch the football and then go one-on-one -on -one with your cornerback right here. Yep. One of those little now passes. You're right. You're right. Looks like the corners are about six yards off. Uh, of the receivers. Rich once again goes in motion to the left. There is a penalty flag down. It's going to be illegal procedure against the Bruins. It's going to be a five yard penalty and move them from a third and one to a third and six. Brad, we're just sometimes we're just our own worst enemy. Yeah, I mean, that's just self destruction right there. Yep. I mean, again, it's, it's, those are like the simple things, you know. And it's a whole uh, different play call right now. Oh, right com now. completely. You're third and one, now you're third and six. Whole different play yep. call. Ball spotted at the 40, third and six here, 250 to go in the third quarter. Rich goes in motion, snaps back to Campbell. He looks to his left. He's going to break out of there. He's at the 45. He is, oh, he's still going. He's at the 40. And he is driven all the way down to about the 35 yard line. There is a lot of laundry down on the field. Um, he really lowered his shoulder there. How did he get out of there, Brad? I don't know. How I mean, did he get out of that? He was a magician, that's for sure. No. Wow. So it looks like uh, he does get it back down close to the yard marker, but we'll see what the penalties are on this particular play. Uh, no signal yet from the officials. 
Looks like he's, looks like the Bruins are going backwards. I didn't see the call. No, I Brad. haven't seen the call yet either. Looks like a block in the back against the Bruins. So that will move the ball back to the 44 yard lines where it's going to be third and 10. Right. You talk about, you know, self destruct. Was third and one. Then we had a delay a game. Then basically a run for first down, but a block in the back takes it back. I mean, it's tough. Yeah. Shotgun snap back to Campbell. Campbell's looking to his left. He throws. He has got Poff over there, and he is hit immediately by number 34, Kendrick Long. Good defensive play there by Long, and just yeah. he, it, it was sort of the right timing on his part. It looked like Poff was going to be able to catch it, but as soon as the ball hit Poff's hands, Long hit Poff. Yeah, and he had separation from Long. Poff did, Luke did. He had separation. The ball was just a little bit behind him, so – he was able to catch up, Long was able to catch up, and as soon as he, the ball got there, he got there also, and he brought the lumber with him. Yes, he did. Spencer Campbell back in punt formation for the Bruins. Punt is up, and Campbell drives that punt way, way back, all the way to Man Adams at the 12 yard line. He brings it out to about the 20, three 23 24 yard line that's where the blue demons will take over first and 10 210 to go here in the third quarter hey. christiansburg leading the bruins 34 to zero yeah good tackle right there by addison he cut him down addison realized he had this uh, sideline as another defender and just made a really nice play right there yeah you know addison he he shows a lot of great instincts and uh, abilities out there uh, I was actually a little bit surprised because he played at inside backer last week and, and the, the, he moved out to the outside backer. So I was a little surprised by that this, this week, but I'm sure there's a reason for why they, they did that. Christianberg breaks the huddle. Handoff goes to number 12, Thaxton Henley. He goes across the 30 all the way up to the 33-yard line. Not quite enough for a first down. It's going to bring up second and short for the Blue Demon, second and one from the 33. You know, it's interesting. He's just sort of finding his little way there. It's not like it's like power running. I mean, he's there's times where he's lowered his shoulder and went, but we've also made it a little bit easy for him. Yeah, you know? and right there he just hesitated, wait for enough of his blockers to get in front of him and, and just, you know, followed him. Two, got a pro set here. Handoff once again goes oh, to Kendrick Long, number 34. He breaks across into Blacksburg territory down to the 49-yard line. A little bit of thunder and lightning right there. You had Thaxton Henley that was back there before to sort of that bruiser pounding running back, and then they, they sneak number 34, Kendrick Long, in, and he is a quick, quick, shifty running back, and, uh, and he makes Blacksburg pay for it, actually takes it down to the 48, where it'll be Blue Demon ball first and 10. They're really influencing our defensive end right there, Brad. Our defensive end's lined up on the inside shoulder of that tight end, and he's stepping out to block the outside blocker. Our defensive end is stepping out with him, so that makes it an easy block. Right out, yep, just to kick out. For those out. running backs and fullbacks. I mean, there's uh, guards pulling and there's fullbacks. Cooper's under center, fakes the handoff. He tries to roll around the left-hand side, but nowhere to go there. Maybe a yard pickup on the play. Looked like in on the tackle for the Bruins. Looks like number 60. Right looks there. like number 60, Braden. Uh, let's see, number 60, Braden Duncan. He was a little slow getting up there, but uh, um, did a good job there staying at home and, and, and bringing Cooper down. That's a tough kid to bring down, yes, too. Yes, it I mean, is. He gets a little bit of space, and mm -hmm. he can make a lot of people look bad out there. Oh, yeah. He's a transfer student from Pulaski. Uh, played at Pulaski last year. He's at Christiansburg this year. He goes under center in eye formation. Handoff goes to Kendrick Long once again. Kendrick, it looks like he was bottled up in the middle, but he breaks outside and he goes across the 40 all the way down to the 37-yard line. That'll be another first down for the Blue Demons. The chains are moving. I mean, it looked like they had him right at the at, right in the middle, and he just found a way to sort of break it outside and pick up enough yards for that first down. That's going to be the last play of the third quarter. Christiansburg's leading the Bruins, 34 to nothing. We'll step away. You're listening to ESPN Blacksburg.
Integrity, of course, is a key principle of the Blacksburg Police Department. That's both integrity of the organization, but also integrity of the individual that we're bringing to work on our team. You won't find better people anywhere than here at Blacksburg Police Department. I've found in my years working with a variety of businesses in, in Blacksburg that the merchants kind of know that the police are there if they need them. They're, they make themselves available, they come around, they introduce themselves, and, and just so that have an idea who's coming and that familiarity really, really helps. As a martial artist, integrity is a huge thing for us. So if I look at Blacksburg PD and, and law enforcement in general, the, the integrity they have, again, it goes back to the community and what they serve. You know, the amount of hours they put in outside of it and just in their community discussing things outside of their law enforcement, they try to interact with other people and they don't even realize maybe they're a law enforcement officer at that time and they're doing their job without people even knowing sometimes. Welcome back here, Bill Brown Stadium, first and 10 for the Blue Demons as we start the fourth quarter here. The ball spotted at the 38. Handoff goes to the fullback up the middle. Looks like number, number nine, Josiah Ratley on the carry for the Blue Demons. Looks like a pickup of about five yards on the carry. Brings up second and five. They just keep rotating backs in, Brad. Rotating fresh backs in at all times, whether it's, you know, Altizer or uh, Altizer at fullback, or, or you just mentioned Josiah Ratley, and then they're rotating those three running backs at tailback position. Yep. It's just fresh bodies, fresh bodies. Christian Berg in the I formation, twins to the right. Toss pitch goes to Kendrick Long. Kendrick Long is met immediately by yeah, James Rich. He bounces off, but Addison Bass is there as well as Tyson Brown. It's going to be a loss on the play. Brings up third and six for the Blue Demons. You're Great. listening to Bruin Football, brought to you exclusively by Waterstone Mortgage. Great job by James Rich. I mean, realize the situation. Last time they had that formation into the boundary, they ran that same play, and, and Tanner scored on a 60-yard gallon. So, you know. Yep. Good job. Yeah, you know, it's good to see this. See them kind of process it during the game. The kids starting to process for themselves during the game and understand how they're being attacked. Christian Burke breaks the huddle. Cooper under center. Fakes the handoff, he's rolling to the right. It looks like he's going down the field. He throws and it is intended for number eight, Brody Blunt, but the pass is behind Blunt and it's gonna fall incomplete. Brings up fourth and six here from the 34 yard line for the Blue Demons. Yeah, our, our corner and safety right there, they did a great job. Looks like it's gonna be an eligible, cool. an eligible yep. lineman downfield. And so Blacksburg's gotta make a decision here whether they will decline it or accept it. If they decline it, it'll be fourth down and they ha have declined it. So it will be fourth and six here for the Blue Demons. I would imagine that the Blue Demons are probably gonna go for it right here. Yeah, what have they got to lose? I mean, it's sort of no man yeah. land, you know? You know, and it's really not that hard to see six foot eight down the field. Mm -mm. No, <laughs> no, no, not at all. He, he kind of he kind of stands out out there. That's right. The heck of a ball player he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Big. Uh, Stollert, number 75, the left tackle. Blue Demons break the huddle. Twins to the right, I backfield. Looks like there is a timeout called. Timeout by the Blue Demons, 10.34 to go. We'll keep it here. Uh, real big down here for the Bruins. Uh, you know, obviously it's the fourth quarter. Blacksburg's down 34 to nothing, but just trying to find those positive moments right here. This could be one of those positive moments. And, you know, we talked about it before, about we get into these positions and, you know, we, we look for that moment to make that stop. You know, we did it early in the Jamborees when we played Abingdon and Glenver a couple times. But since then, we've been in this situation and bam, that's when a big play happens. Just like yep. down here, right before the half, you know, we had them, but big play happens. Curtis Altizer makes that just unbelievable catch and the next thing you know, they score. This is another one of those big plays that they got to try to find a way to come out successful so that they can build on that. Yeah, Brad. It, it, just, just, just to keep building the program. We've had more stops defensively tonight than I can remember in the past three or four ball games. So you can see a little bit of improvement right here, Brad. And, and right now, this would be crucial. Oh. We know, we know what the outcome's going to be. It's sure. Gonna be, we're not going to win this ball game, but just keep building little by little. That's right. 
Blue Demons back on the field. They're in the I formation, two receivers to the right. Cooper fakes the handoff, he rolls to the right. He's looking down the middle of the field. He's got his receiver down there and it is caught for a Blue Demon touchdown. It looked to me like that's number eight. I'm sorry, that is number six, Spencer Connor, the receiver for a Blue Demon touchdown. That's that big play we just yep. talked about. Just talked about, and that, that was a good play call right there, Brad. Um, you know, the two plays before when our corners and safety just kind of traded off those, those routes with the out route and the vertical, you know, they switched it up. They changed the routes. We just weren't right prepared for it. We weren't ready for it. And, and, you know, hit us big. Yeah, yeah, that That's is. That's a tough one right there, man. 10 27 to go here. Christian Berg with a 40 to 0 lead. Spencer Connor on for the point after attempt. Snap is back. Hold is down. Kick is up. And that kick is good. Your new score here in the fourth quarter. Christiansburg 41, Blacksburg 0. We will step away momentarily. You're listening to Blacksburg football on ESPN Blacksburg. My name is Rob Speeden, and I'm a search mission coordinator and a tracking specialist on the search and rescue team. Hey, I'm Bob Barnes. I'm the light technical rescue coordinator. I'm Drew Manzella. I'm the extrication discipline lead. I'm Josh Poisonberry. We're part of the technical rescue group. And one of the cool parts about technical rescue is that we are able to do what we do on a daily basis and bring those expertise to the table. For some of us, it may be mechanically inclined. Some of us, it may be more technology oriented and we're able to bring that to the table. So Blacksburg Rescue Squad, Blacksburg Volunteer Rescue Squad is a unique organization. We have a lot of equipment that you don't see around many rescue squads. If you go out there and look in that bay, you're gonna see that about half the vehicles, half the equipment are to get the patient to the hospital. The other half of the vehicles in that bay are to get the patient to the ambulance. And that's what we do. I've said it before, and you know, I'll keep saying it, there's a, a thinking outside of the box, problem solving type component that really goes along heavily with technical rescue. No two rescues are ever gonna be the exact same situation. There's gonna be an element of sizing up the situation and figuring out how to best approach it that's gonna be safe but also effective. There's a lot of opportunity for people within the, the different ranks that we have here to do different things that are all problem solving oriented. I would say that just having a team like this, a multidisciplinary team that works on a variety of challenges together is a phenomenal family oriented group and a, a great challenge and learning opportunity for anybody in the community. Welcome back here, David Crisfield, Bill Brown Stadium. Christiansburg Blue Demons 41, Blacksburg 0, 10.27 to go in the fourth quarter. Spencer Connor with the Waterstone Mortgage kickoff drives the ball all the way back to the 10 yard where Ethan Walker connects with it. He takes it to the 20, up to maybe the 23 yard line where he is tackled there. The Bruins will take over there at the 23, first and 10. That's a good form tackle by Nathan Shippey. He was right there on point. I tell you what, Christianburg's got a good football team. They, do. Uh, they, they uh, do. You know, they got the sort of that platoon of skill position players, and, yeah. and, and they, they each one of them is just a little bit of a different dimension. You know, yeah. you got Tanner Evans, who's, you know, low to the ground but quick and just big thighs. You got Thaxton Henley, that's just a bruiser. Then you bring in Kendrick Long. Then you got, you know, you, you got Curtis Altizer in there blocking. You got two different quarterbacks running it. And, yeah. and so they got a lot of things going. Blacksburg takes the snap. Handoff goes. Looks like handoff went to quite see there. Uh, David Ajay. David Ajay. Short pickup, maybe a pickup of two yards. Ball will be spotted at the 25. It's going to bring up second. Actually, it's a pickup of, yeah, pick up, pick up a two, second and eight. 9.30 to go here in the fourth quarter. Snap is back. Handoff goes to the Jai over the left side, and he is met over there by the defensive end and brought down after a pickup of about two. Looks like in on the tackle for uh, Christiansburg number 87, Robert McCray. You know, you're, you're talking about, you know, those big guys in the middle. You got Poole and Conley. Then you got that length of McCray out there. 
and the other defensive end, whether it's, you know, they've had a couple different kids play at that other defensive end spot, but they got some length and that's some speed from those outside defensive end spots. They really do, and in, uh, in quickness. You yeah. Know? They got quickness there. Blacksburg breaks the huddle. Looks like two receivers to the left, single to the right. Ajay's in the backfield. James Rich goes in motion to the right. Campbell looks. He's going down the field. Passes intended for Addison Bass, and it is caught by Bass into Blue Demon territory all the way down to the Christiansburg Blue Demon 44-yard line. That's where the Bruins will take over there with a first down. Great pass there by Campbell to Bass. Hey, you know, it, it, Addison did a nice job. He went up and found the ball, you know. He just made a great, a great move to it. I tell you, he's a good-sized receiver out there. And he's going to be hard to match up physically. Yep. He's just That's strong, right. Strong. Too. That's right. You are so right. Bass is the single receiver to the right. Rich goes in motion to the right. Hand off to Ajay. He tries to go over the right-hand side, but he's met immediately at the line of scrimmage there by number 87, Robert McCray, as well as number nine, Josiah Ratley. No gain on a play, second and 10 from the 44. Yeah, there's that speed and quickness. It's gonna be interesting how the playoffs work out in that you know, that 3A division. You got Christiansburg, obviously. You got Botetot there. You also got LCA. LCA. Yep. So, I mean, that's going to be a juggernaut this year. And I could see Christiansburg or Botetot playing LCA in that region final. You know, but you can't forget about Heritage either. I mean, a lot oh. of good teams right there. Yeah, that's right. Brad Bradley will have them playing well you when it comes it to playoff time. Walker goes in motion. Handoff up the middle to Ajay and – he just is met right at the line of scrimmage. Maybe a two-yard loss there. That's not really what you want to see. It looked like Jai just sort of stopped right right when the, the defensive pressure was coming. You know, I was talking earlier, we talked about Jai running a little bit straight up, but there are a couple times tonight early on, I mean, he squared those shoulders up yeah. and ran, and that's, that's really what you want to see right there in that situation. And, uh, 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 but when you run high like that, that's that's what's generally going to happen when you face a good defense like Christiansburg. <laughs> you talk about those two tackles, Brad. I mean, I mean, holy cow. I mean, Jackson Poole, 6'2", 290. Aiden McConley, 6'3", 321. Then you got the freshman that's in there, 6'4", 356. Mm. Campbell's pass intended over towards the Christiansburg sideline for Javier Waldron falls incomplete. That's going to bring up Fourth down for the Bruins. Looks like the punt team is coming on for the Bruins. 6.03 to go here in the fourth quarter. Blacksburg trailing the Christiansburg Blue Demons in the Battle of the Bergs, 41 to 0. Liam Minna in to punt for Blacksburg. Back deep for Christiansburg, number three, J. Ron Thompson as well as looks like once again number 14 matt annis over there they are spotted up at the 15. minna's punt is driven back to the 15. balls on the ground by annis but it looks like it pops right back up in his hands he recovers it and that'll be first down for the blue demons that was uh it almost you know it looked like walker was there for the recovery but uh, ball just bounced right back to Annis. Literally right back. I mean, couldn't have had a better break right there. Hey, good tackle right there. Got him right down. Hey, special teams have done pretty good tonight. We talked about it earlier in the game where it's been kind of a struggle. Um, you know, they've held their own tonight, Brad. So, oh, they have. They, they really have. Uh, uh, been a much better night on special teams for Blacksburg than in the, in the past few games. Christianberg breaks the huddle. Two receivers to the left. In the I formation, JT Thompson, handoff goes. Handoff number two. Looks like handoff goes to number two, Maximus Fernandez. Pickup of about seven on the carry. He's going to bring up second and three for the Blue Demons. Looks like uh, Jeremiah Thompson now in at quarterback. JT Thompson, yeah. And we've seen him tonight. You know, he and he and uh, 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 Cooper have, have sort yeah. of went back and forth. And, you know, he gives another little dimension there as well. He's quite an athlete himself, plays some receiver and such. Yep. And also Handoff a lot goes of... once again. 
Fernandez once again, the ball to carrier. Fernandez, uh, no pickup on the play. Maybe a yard pickup there, but it's going to bring up third Second down for the Blue Demons. Ball spotted at the 25, 436 and counting here, fourth quarter. Christiansburg leading the Bruins 41 to zero in this battle of the Bergs. Yeah. Not a lot of a battle tonight, James. It's uh, it's it's been tough, you know. The kids have played hard and just haven't. It just hasn't. Things just haven't bounced their way, you know. I mean, yeah. you take a few of those really big plays away, games games a little bit closer to what it is, you know. Yeah. And you, you just hate it. You just hate it for the kids. Uh, you know, it's just a tough thing. Very tough. It felt like it had a little momentum right before half when we hit him on that hitch and go, and just could not get anything out of it. Yep, we lost it. You know, yep. we lost it. But when they scored with six seconds to go, you know, and uh, that was that was just really, really tough situation there. Handoff goes once again to Fernandez. He is stopped uh, at the line of scrimmage. Going to bring up second and ten. Uh, ball spotted at the 40 of the Blue Demons. Four minutes and counting. That running clock's going now, Brad. Too. So this thing's going to move move along real quick. Yes. Looks like in the fullback position, Noah Davis for the Blue Demons. JT Thompson under center. Handoff goes to number two, Maximus Fernandez. Pick up of about three yards, maybe four on the carry. It's going to bring up third and six. From the 44 yard line of the Blue Demons. Yeah, they're just going to milk that clock on down, Brad. You know, it's just, it's, it's just tough because you know they're trying out there. Uh, they made some improvements here and there this week compared to weeks before. It's just. JT Thompson fakes the handoff. He rolls to the left. He has a fullback, number 28, Noah Davis, into the flats. Ball is just a little bit behind Davis. Ball's incomplete. It's going to bring up fourth and six for the Blue Demons. Looks like uh, possibly the punt team is coming on for Christiansburg. Walker walks back to the return position. All ties are set to punt it away for the Blue Demons. Snap is back, all Tizer's kick. He gets a great kick, high pounding kick. Drives it all the way back to the 20. It takes a, a Blacksburg bounce up to the 22 yard line. When you mentioned high, I mean, that ball looked like it was above the yeah. light. Sometimes yeah. it's hard to see. These lights are pretty daggone low. Yep. And they're all shining pretty much straight down. So there's not really much of a, when that ball gets up there, it's hard to see it. It really is. Yeah, I tell you, you know, Altizer, he's, he's a good punter. I mean, he gets the ball out, you know. He, we talked about, I mean, he, he's a good-sized young man, 5'11", 227. But he's a very athletic 227, yeah. you know. Yeah, he, he's kind of, you know, when Chris Berg goes by that blue-collar, blue-demon mentality, he, he kind of embodies that. He does. He, he, he yeah. really does. You know, he's just a tough kid. Yeah. Tough kid, and they got a bunch of tough kids. I yep. mean, you know, I, I think of Tanner, Tanner Evans, you know, Thaxton Henley, uh, um, you know, a lot of tough, tough young men over there playing for that Blue Demon team. Was there a penalty right there, bro? Anyone's confused. I believe we had a delay of game penalty, but the play kind of stands. They're going to give Blacksburg a free five yards. Up to the Looks like the ball is goal. going to be moved up five yards for the Bruins. They're going to have the ball spotted at the 27, where they'll take over first and 10. Looks like Campbell uh, Poff is in at quarterback now for the Bruins. Snap is back. Handoff goes to Thomas Boyd over the left-hand side. Not a lot of room, but he just keeps pushing, and he does pick up about three yards on that carry. Just hard run there by Boyd. Sometimes, Brad, you got to be your own blocker back there. Hey. He just became his own blocker and trucked a couple kids. Well, you know, I mean, we've talked about it a little bit. I mean, he's a hard runner. I mean, yeah. strong kid, one of the stronger kids on the team. And, uh, yeah. I mean, you, you think about it uh, uh, with, 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 the, with the personnel that they have, you know, might not be a bad idea to look at that uh, the same thing Christian Burke's doing from that <laughs> eye formation, yeah. you know? Yeah, Boyd just brings a load. Poff, the snap is back to Poff. Handoff goes to Boyd. Boyd's over the right-hand side. He lowers his shoulders, picks up about three. He's still picking up Boyd yardage, takes it down 
to about the 34-yard line where it'll be third down for Blacksburg. Third and about three. Ball is spotted at the 34. One minute and eight seconds and counting here. Boyd comes off the field. I imagine, Brad, this most likely could be the last play. Yeah, that's what it's sort of appearing like, James. 49 seconds and counting. Bruins going to their positions. Snap is back. Handoff goes and the running back is met immediately in the backfield there by the Blue Demons, number 75. We've talked about him a few times tonight. Carter Stollert, the sophomore, what? six foot eight, 305 pounds. Well, we shouldn't even hope we're not trying to run another play. There's really no need to. Yeah, no need to, to, yeah. to run anymore. It's 11 seconds and counting. And that looks like that is going to be the end of the ball game here in the Battle of the Bergs. Christiansburg Blue Demons travels over to Blacksburg and they do come away victorious in this 2022 Battle of the Bergs by the score of 41 to 0. We are going to step away momentarily. When we come back, we'll have the Zeppelis post game show. You're listening to Blacksburg Bruin Football on ESPN Blacksburg. 